Hello, everyone. I wanted to wish everybody the happiest of holidays. I know we're in the week leading up to everyone's favorite holiday, and I just want to wish everyone the happiest of New Year's as well. But a lot of us have been listening to Charlie's jail phone calls and a lot of the evidence that has to do with Donna Adelson's upcoming trial and evidence pertaining to Wendy Adelson and Harvey Adelson in the murder of Dan Markell. A lot of us have not been getting much sleep and including myself, catching up on these jail calls has been very, very great. And those of you who are sharing these jail calls, I thank you so much. I really think that one reason I believe that this state has released these is to kind of get our opinions as though we are a jury. And I believe that as they've poured over these, there are key words that they're looking at from the jail. And I think that they kind of want our opinion and maybe want to see if we pick up on any of the code that's in these that I've kind of been picking up on some of the code. So without further ado, let me just get right to it and tell you all some of the things that I believe are code in these jail calls between Charlie and his loved ones. And I just want to preface that I've been looking over these jail logs for the past year and a half. I have taken great interest in this case, the Dan Markell murder case. So if you're new to my channel, I've pretty much been focusing on this and a few others. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that Charlie has been discussing as he kind of tickles the line and kind of gets the attention of the FBI and the Tallahassee Police Department and the Tallahassee Jail with these keywords. I'll start with the code that I know for sure, 100% is code. Bree and Charlie discuss that Charlie is at work. So every time they say work, we know that that equals jail. And Charlie's son, Roman, is referring to this as work and so is Bree. So that's the first code word that we know is actually a word that means something else. And another code word that I noticed was S-H-I-T. And every time that Charlie refers to this word, S-H-I-T, this is code for Wendy's evidence. And he refers to it as bull S-H-I-T evidence. And just, just keep your eyes open for it. Anything that also refers to Donna's evidence, he refers to as S-H-I-T. Another code word that I've noticed is the repairman. So you notice that in the part where Donna is saying that Harvey is laying down, there's a repairman coming and their kitchen has a leak and he's talking about the repairman. I believe this is either code for Wendy is in the room or Donna doesn't want to tell Charlie that Wendy's in the room or that maybe they have to make some phone calls to their lawyers or maybe even lawyers will be stopping by. And as you notice, when they talk about the TV repairman in the past tense, that I believe has been longstanding code that means the repairman is there to fix the problem. The problem meaning Dan, the repairman meaning Sigfredo Garcia. But in the present tense, the repairman could refer to the lawyers who are there to fix everything. For example, Wendy, the lawyer, she's there to fix everything and give them advice on non-extradition countries or the lawyers who are there to fix all of these first degree murder problems that they are facing right now. You all answered my question, trusted my gut. What did that mean? I posted a community post and it was overwhelming evidence that most of you, almost 90% of you said, trusted my gut, meant to flee. So every time Charlie says, trusted my gut, that is code for flee. That's what most of us believe. Also, a commenter, please forgive me, I did not get 
who this commenter was said that North Carolina was something that people were saying is code for flee to Vietnam. When Charlie says Bree went to North Carolina and he says, do you know what I mean? And Donna says, yes. So Bree obviously took his son to North Carolina, meaning she fled. And that is code for that. Maybe Donna should flee. For example, trusted my gut, flee North Carolina. All right. So you catch my drift. All right. Another code word that I've noticed is sick. When Charlie says, don't get sick. Some of you have also noticed that Charlie might mean don't get arrested or don't get sick. I kind of take don't get sick as meaning to don't unalive yourselves and just rest and kind of pace yourself. And maybe also sick could mean flee. All right. So as Charlie is saying coincidence, he keeps repeating this word coincidence or she couldn't help herself. I believe this is Charlie trying to get a read on Donna's feelings towards Wendy's evidence or Wendy's guilt or just trying to get a read on Wendy and trying to understand how Donna is feeling towards Wendy. And then I'm just going to kind of go on to to read some of the most incriminating things that I've heard kind of in the middle of these wiretaps. I believe I'm on like the 8th or the 9th of November. Donna goes on to say start a fire and show up to watch it in regards to their conversation about Wendy's drive by. And Charlie says there will be a fourth trial based on this SHIT. Charlie says, you know what I mean? And Donna says, oh, I know what you mean. That's referring to Wendy's evidence. (laughs) And then Charlie goes on to say, if you feel something in your gut, move on it. Going with the code about your gut, Charlie is telling her to flee. Trust your gut, which means flee. Another thing Donna says, if you're guilty, Wendy is guilty. And Donna says this two times in different conversations. If Charlie is guilty, then Wendy is guilty. So they're kind of tripping the line to kind of maybe get uh, the police looking at Wendy instead of Donna and Harvey. Very interesting. And then Donna says, too many. How is it possible? Too many things leading towards Wendy's guilt. And then Charlie says, bat, S-H-I-T, crazy emails. And I believe this is something that could have pushed Donna over the edge. It's just one silly little statement. But Donna hearing this from her son, Charlie, calling her emails crazy. This could be one of the things that just killed her. Hearing him refer to her emails as crazy evidence could have been one of the reasons that she tried to flee. I think something really interesting that Donna said was we're on the same roller coaster. So she's trying to tell him she knows his evidence is her evidence. They're sharing the same lawyer and she's trying to tell him that she knows she probably needs to flee. Some of the things that I picked up on was that Donna didn't like that Janice had racks and racks of clothing in the house and she'll have to clean up after her in order to sell the house. And that was before she had said one of the most incriminating things in the phone call on the 8th, which was that we're leaving the country. And so all of that small talk very much turned after this uh, phone call, which I believe Donna did not know she was being recorded And then she goes on to talk about, you know, Wendy saying that the boys didn't go to school and that she made them go that morning. And she says, they're not recording my phone. And this is when Charlie's phone had cut out. And she talks about the leak in the kitchen where the repairman is coming. So uh, I believe that there was another call to Charlie after that where she tells him that, 
there's a repair man coming, which is, I believe, code for either Wendy's coming over or one of the lawyers coming over. Because at this time, I believe that Daniel Rashbaum would have been coming back from Tallahassee after the trial on the 7th or 8th. And then Donna says, for legal reasons, she can't talk to you. That's Wendy. And then she says about Harvey, he's not holding up well. I have to talk to the repair guy. So she hangs up the phone. And um, I think that's when they recorded that she was leaving the country. And Charlie tells his mom to get his father a Xanax. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to wrap this up right now. I just wanted to make a short video about this code and keep looking for more of these code words. Please write in the comments below if you feel like this code is something we should be looking for or if it's just a nothing sandwich and we just need to listen to these wiretaps over the holiday season and just kind of enjoy ourselves and enjoy our families and and just kind of listen to what evidence they're putting forward. So thank you so much for listening and liking and subscribing. I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday season and give your families a big hug and hopefully more justice for Dan will continue. Have a great holiday and a happy new year.